I am sure by now you have noticed all the bird sounds in our videos. And I promised some weeks ago that I would do a video to highlight the birds. So here is my best attempt to highlight the birds and show you, or at least tell you, all the ones here in the yard. And there are many. <laughs> so um, get ready for a list of birds. These ones in the photos, most of them I have identified, um, or at least they probably are pretty identifiable like that blue jay there. Um, and some of them, that's a northern flicker. He is lovely. So some of them I was able to actually capture on photos myself. Like this little guy here in the grass. He is a white-breasted sparrow. I'm sure you noticed his most prominent feature is his yellow eyebrows. And why they didn't call him the yellow eyebrowed sparrow, I will never understand. But he's quite cute and we see him a good deal. This is the American tree sparrow. He's kind of unique in that he has a red colored kind of mohawk. This little guy here is our friend, the dark eyed Junko. And we hear him more than see him and his song sounds a lot like lasers going off. Pew, pew. This is our song sparrow. He visits our feeders quite a bit. He has a beautiful song. This is a morning dove. We have only seen that guy one time. This is a chipping sparrow. He looks a lot like our American tree sparrow, but uh, his little song says chip, chip. Albeit a fuzzy picture, but this is two of our song sparrows battling it out at the bird feeder. When I saw this downy woodpecker staring into the windows of the bird feeder, I was shocked. I had no idea he would like the food there, but he comes quite often and he uh, looks like he's just staring right into the windows, but he's eating and enjoying himself. Now this was a sight to behold. This is the evening grosbeak, and it's a pair of them, and they spent a morning or two with us, and um, Tim was able to get some really great photos of them, but they have just the most lovely color. Speaking of beautiful, here are the American goldfinches and they are just stunning such pretty pretty colors tim was even able to catch this one in flight had to get the binoculars out for this guy. I saw him on the bird feeder and thought, what is that? He almost looks red, white, and blue, but it's black instead of blue. But he is a really unique guy. He is a red-breasted grosbeak. So really cool, big bird, easy to see. And here is a crow. Doesn't he look pretty there in the dandelions? Uh, we have crows and we also have ravens. The ravens 
I soar around super high in the sky. They never seem to land so I can get a photo. At the local hospital, we came across a family of ducks. And um, we do believe they are mallards, but the green on their head has faded, which I think is normal when they're not in mating season. Another of the birds we have a lot in the yard is the Eastern Phoebe, and uh, her song is her name, Phoebe, Phoebe. Here she is on a nest uh, that we found under the pole shed attached to our garage. So that's all the birds that I've managed to get on film. There are many other ones that are just too elusive for me to be able to catch on the film. So I will give you a list of their names here just so you can have an idea of what all you are hearing when you hear our videos and hear the birds in the background. These are screenshots from the birding app I used called Merlin Bird ID and uh, it listens for birds and tells you what it recognizes based on their song. So a lot of these birds we've gotten to know by sound first and later by sight. There are many more birds I could mention that we have heard, but I'm gonna stop things right here. I hope you've enjoyed uh, learning about our birds up here in our backyard in Maine.